and I, this is all about you. And once again, let me apologize for not including you in the original um, new moon in Sagittarius predictions. I did put up an individual Gemini new moon in Sagittarius video. I hope you got a chance to see it. I'm going to attach it above here, above here in case you didn't. Please look for it. Um, this is your weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you so much for coming back. And for those of you who are just finding the channel, please do click subscribe. Help the channel grow and ring the bell so that you know when I upload all that great content. This is your week ahead reading. So whenever you're watching this video, this would pertain to seven days forward. Forward from the day that you're watching it. So Gemini, let's see what your crowning energy is Gemini, sun, moon, rising sign. It could be anywhere Gemini influences your natal chart. You could apply these energies. What is your crowning energy, Gemini, for the week ahead? Crowning energy for this week. Crowning energy for this week. New moon in Sagittarius tonight. Beautiful energy for you. A lot of cleaning out and restart. A lot of doors opening up where they were once closed. A lot of restrictions and chains being dropped off of you. Freedom, Gemini, is what I'm saying to you. Let's see. The miracles are endless. This is the energy that's crowning you and then life is a mystery. So I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna be surprised by where your blessings are coming from. There's so much bounty and, and I actually discussed this in the new moon in Sagittarius video I did with you. There's so much bounty that's there for you. The resources are 100% there for you. The understanding of those resources and knowing that they're there and having faith in them, having confidence in them and, and feeling comfortable accessing them. That's a whole different topic. And so I feel like you're still looking at them from afar as if, should I trust them? It's like you're hungry for them, you want them, but should I trust it? You could also be dealing with some sort of Taurus energy. You want it. You're looking at it from afar, but you're not sure that it's reliable. You want to vet whether or not all these resources or these opportunities are actually substantial and going to sustain you and going to make you happy. There is a very good reason for that. And that reason is that recently, especially over the past couple of months, and especially through this, this retrograde, I feel like things were extra turned up for you. People misinterpreting what you were saying, people going extra hard on you know, um, your role in things, uh, accusing accusations flying, a lot of different um, not so fair on Gemini behavior. And I, and I understand now that when you see these opportunities coming in or you see these resources available to you, there is an energy of, hold up, hold up. I just need to make sure that all this is not just messing with me. And I get it. I, I understand that hesitation on your part. This is, this is infinity. This is eternity. See the eight, the infinity symbol? Um, this is destiny. You're supposed to have it. And it came at just the right time. This is a very Jupiterian energy, even though it's a Taurus card. It's a very um, messenger from the gods. The gods are sending this directly to you. This is something that you can rely on and something that you can trust. You're hesitant to jump into it. You're hesitant to jump into it. I have to say, I feel like it's going to wait for you. It's, it's, it's going to, it's going to be around. There is also this energy of if you could reflip the energy, this, this crowning energy for you is somebody's vetting you. Somebody is taking a long, hard look at you, kind of hiding from the shadows, looking back. Maybe not hiding from the shadows, but inspecting. Infecti inspecting and qualifying what they see coming from you. Is it sincerity? Is it truth? There is this energy of needing more information and needing to take more time to gather that information simply because you don't want to end up completely and totally screwed. That's, it's just that simple. You don't want to end up feeling the way that you had felt in the past, which is put upon, set upon, accused, everything, all the fault and blame falling back on you, basically just for being you. Well, at least this is how you felt. And I, 
And so there's this energy of, or how the other person felt. You can always flip the messages. I know that there are people who cross watch. So you can always flip messages, but overall, this is actually beautiful energy. Like that's what I'm here to tell you. Good thing, right? Because how would you know? It looked good before, it looked good in the past, but this is actually very, very good energy. This is actually you maybe even taking on a new role, deciding to be a different, yeah, approach this in a different way, in a way that maybe somebody else would have approached it, but now it's like you're trying something new as in your involvement, trying a different way to engage a circumstance or a situation, maybe to keep yourself safe, maybe to keep yourself protected, but also just to try a different way. There's a, a sense of wanting to evolve here in you, wanting to move further and to level up and being willing to take a chance to do that. But still, it's almost like a conservative chance. You want to invest the money, but you don't want to invest all of your money in a high risk profile kind of thing. Sweet results await. There's not much else to say. This is pretty blatant. You know what? If you are on, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a commercial right here. If you are on platforms that allow it, please expect there to me, for me to be, for there to be a commercial inserted in here. And I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thank you for your patience. Now, for those Geminis who don't worry about it, and you don't have to worry about it, here we are. Um, thank you, though, if you did have to watch a commercial because that actually supports the channel and I, I appreciate it. It's a huge donation. Um, just by you being patient, essentially. This is what you have ahead of you. I mean, be yourself, be in the moment, be, be, just be. All you have to do is just be. There you go, you're the queen bee. Think of a hundred different thousand ways to talk about be. You could put a spin on it in many different ways, but the bottom line is, this is you dripping in the honey. This is, this is happiness. This is abundance. Uh, remember, honey is 3D abundance, you know? And, but it's also, and I want to bring this to your attention, it's something that the bees have to work for. So this isn't just something that's randomly falling out of the sky and coming to you randomly. This is stuff that you've worked for. Look at the seven, lucky number seven. Now I said seven days ahead, right? It could take all week for this abundance to come in, but you better, you better make sure that it's going gonna, it's gonna to come in. This is what's going to end up happening, especially when it says the miracles are endless and you don't even see it coming or something came back around for you, Gemini, that you didn't think would ever work out or you'd given up on. You just sort of like left it in the past. You thought, no, there's no way, you know, people are going to see my point of view. There's nobody, there's no way this person is going to see my point of view. This is, this is you literally doing very, very well and everything coming back into balance in your life. Use your mind wisely. This is you being very cunning and very strategic looking into the future. And it's also the energy of when pigs fly. You thought that this would only happen when pigs fly, but it did, it came through. Maybe you were even playing at something. Devil may care, you weren't even paying that much attention to it, or you had convinced yourself that you didn't want it that much, but now all of a sudden it's very real and it wants you to, and you almost stand in shock a little bit this week because you can't believe it came around that way. But it did, and it's here. And now you have to decide, well, how do I progress with it? How do I move forward? Like, what's the best? Do I really want this? You know, just because I have it and it's being offered to me, is it something that I really, really want? Is it something that's going to make me happy? And that's a really good place to be in. I, I wish most more people were discerning in that way. Just because it's offered to you doesn't mean you have to take it. It's the abundance that you want that you want to welcome in, not just anything that happens to want you. And there is a feeling of somebody wanting you. Now, it don't matter if this person, if, if, if this is a person or if this is an opportunity that offers you money, right? If you, this is the highest paying job you've ever been offered, for example, or if this is a person that has a lot of money themselves, it doesn't necessarily mean you want them. Like you might, you're going to get the offer from them, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you want it. Be at home. Where are you at home? What feels right to you? This is open up your heart chakra. Let yourself be vulnerable. Let yourself trust in this. I know that you protect yourself through wit and witticisms and sarcasm and sometimes manipulation and games. That's all a bunch of defense. The truth is everybody wants love. They just receive it in different ways. 
what is in your heart, what do you really, really need, and who do you really, really need, and what is going to make you happy. You know, up over the next few days, we're coming upon the holiday season in the United States, and it's about giving thanks. It's about it's about appreciating what you have in your life and showing that love and affection and attention to others. So this is, are you ready for that? Are you ready for that feeling all around you and people caring about you that much? Are you ready to be that important to somebody or a company? Are you ready? And I think that that may be what's giving you pause. Are you ready to be that important to somebody? And I know, I know that in a way that you're like, of course we're ready. What are you talking about? This is, we were born ready. Not always, not always. Time for the beginner mind. Time for the beginner mind. This is a new start. But do you see how his defenses are up? Over the years, he's learned to protect himself. And so he takes his armor wherever he goes now. So yes, you are starting new. And you are well defended and protected. Is it weighing you down? Is it making you too heavy? There are your spikes ready to shoot them off. Is this somebody who is, mm, or is this, or is this somebody that you're interested in who is being spiny and spiky and defensive? They're being coy. This is the energy of being coy, being tempting, making somebody want you, flagging them down, almost trying to disguise these defensivenesses as things that are appealing or like, see how he tries to decorate his spikes, you know, and they are beautiful in and of themselves, but there's this energy, if you could see these two cards together, and I'll flip the camera around so that you can see, but that's what it is. It's somebody very open-hearted being interested in another somebody who is extremely defensive. And it's still, once again, similarly, this energy of, I don't believe it. I'm not sure that I want to trust it. I mean, I need to take some more time with this. Well, Gemini, maybe you can help move this along because you really have the ability to communicate with everybody especially when Mercury is direct. So let's see what can soothe this defensive, this defensive heart. What, what can soothe it? Wow. Bring a gentle touch. Understanding, love, communication. This is Virgo energy. So nurturing, looking for the details, seeing the details, being patient, waiting. Deer are very soft. They don't aggress. Um, they're very still, they're very patient. And I think patience and understanding goes a really long way. This is also a totem of love or new love coming in. So it does feel like there is a sense of, of whatever you want wants you to, and you have the opportunity to have it. I just feel this, and then transformation is beautiful. You will be taking off with this. You will be taking a risk. Inevitably, eventually, no matter how long you want to stay in this cocoon, you will decide to jump into this. This will change you. This will change them. This will change whatever it is you're dealing with. Because this is just general, general energy right now, uh, Gemini, this is an energy of, it could be a job. It could be a romance. It could be... Um, it could be in many different circumstances. This is it. Apply it where it, it makes sense in your life. But transformation is beautiful means that eventually you will be evolving and you will take that next step. You will take it. It will. It, it, it's inevitable at this point. Um, embrace the in between. This is this week for you. This this energy of watching, waiting, and being patient collecting information and getting your balance back. This is a very Libran energy. Get your balance back. They stand on one leg to conserve energy. Then they, they can switch legs off and on because they stand all the time. So it's about always being prepared and learning how to distribute your weight and your energy so that you can stay and you can wait. Why do you need to wait? Because you're still collecting information. Something is still unknown or uncertain to you. And so the wonderful thing about this week for you guys is that you are in a position of power. You, you make the decision. You are watching from the wings. You get to choose when you pounce. Everything else is just sitting there waiting for you. The abundance is there. Let me flip the camera around so that I can review the energies with you guys. Hold on. 
I think this is a little too um, close. Hold on, let me put it up a little bit. Guys, hold on. That's better, now you can see it. So, you know, two of the luckiest cards in this deck have come out for you. Let me put it up a little bit more so that you can see it a little bit better. Two of the luckiest cards in this deck have come out for you. Here they are. Miracles are miracles are endless and sweet results await. And you know, Gemini, there's a sort of this energy of I hope somebody's not treating you this way, where you know they want you and they know they want you and you know that you want them and you know you want each other, but they're still playing coy. They're still being defensive and in, in some aspect, they're kind of, there's this energy of them kind of playing with you. They, they, they just want the attention. There's a little, there could be an undercurrent of being manipulative. I hope that's not your energy, but that there is, that I do have to say that, that there is potential for that kind of energy being here. Whereas they kind of like the fact that you're looking and they like the fact that they get to choose when they turn around and look back at you. But you're being called to be a lot more understanding than that or hoping that they will be a lot more understanding than that because what you really need is to trust. Trust in the circumstance and situation because it's taking you into a direction of a much better life, a much better version of who you are or what you're capable of. It doesn't necessarily just mean morally. It could also mean professionally. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this will take you to the next level in your career or this will take you, you'll, maybe you're moving to another state that you've always wanted to live in. This will take you to a better place, a better place, a better kind of existence, a place where you can actually be, feel at home. This is another home energy. You know, the butterflies, the um, monarch butterflies especially migrate every year. Um, and to all be together and to mate, I think, before they pass away. But the bottom line is there's a sense of returning home and coming home. So I'm wondering if you haven't actually, if this is some sort of love affair or romance, if you've been on and off with somebody and not wanting to fully commit to them because you weren't ready. And there's this energy of commit now, make the decision, take the leap. This is a wonderful opportunity this is this is not something that you want to pass up and I think that really that is coming that is hitting you full force this week and so for the most part your energy is really just trying to collect and prepare collect the information and use it to prepare yourself for I don't know I feel like there's this hesitation in you it's almost like you feel more comfortable in the in-between than you do making a choice. Inevitably, you will make a choice. Look at this. Use your mind wisely. So don't let it run away with you, Gemini. Don't let your brain run away with you. Strategizing, trying to plan things, making sure that you, you know, get everything in order, just be able to make everything just the way you want it. That's a little bit of an escape, isn't it? Of, um, so that's not really using your mind wisely. It's using your mind intelligently, but it's not using your mind wisely. A wise mind is an open hearted mind. It's a mind that talks to the heart and is honest and truthful and has a real pure spirit and nature. And that's where your abundance is really going to be coming in right now. You feel more comfortable. This is an eight two. two plus six equals eight. And we have this infinity card. You like this in between. You like this feeling of watch and wait. I'm going to try to understand this. It honestly feels like there's this energy of somebody that you never thought you'd see again, or you never really thought that this would work out, this circumstance or the situation. And now all of a sudden it seems to really be taking on a whole new life, a whole new existence. It seems to have been growing up or becoming more mature and you're hesitant. And I, and like I said, for the for most of you, for the most part, I, I get why you're hesitant. You want to see if this is actually real. Well, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that it is actually real. This is a transformative experience. If you want to know whether or not you think somebody has changed, they have changed. They had to go through something and, and finish it up. The change was actually a permanent one for them. Um, 
And then if this isn't a person, is it, if this is a company, maybe they had to shut their doors to open up again. But this is definitely a circumstance that you can trust. I'm going to draw more cards to see exactly moving forward what will pan out as well as pull some romance cards. Gemini, I hope to see you guys over there.